Please all stand as we pray the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Spirit. Amen. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she and conceived, she conceived by, the by the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word is made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of, God, of God, pray, pray for, for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Pray for us, o Holy Mother of God, that, that we, we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Of Christ. Let us pray. For for, for, for to beseech thee, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning. Together with our personal intentions, we offer this Holy Mass for the gifts of life and birthday intentions of C. Jordan Calamba, Gabriel Bellarino, Aldrin, Kurt Justin, Nark Ladi, Raymond, Christian Paul, Bruce Boltrun, Edgar Cañete III, Thomas Lizares, and Miguel Gabriel Caparas. Thanksgiving for the help, support, safety, good health offered by Florencilia Quininalo. Thanksgiving for all the graces received and for God's enlightenment, conversion, and blessings for the following. Emmett Michael, John Paul, Mark, Tony, Ilias, Zurich, and Phillips. Thanksgiving for the blessings received by the Koloyan and Alante family. Thanksgiving for the blessings received by the Wikuku and Al Alcoseba family. Thanksgiving for the good health, fi financial blessings, and continuous success for Ronald and Lorraine Koloyan. Prayers for healing of the petitioner's family tree. Thanksgiving for the 45th birthday of Janus Ben Pancet in honor of St. Vincent Ferrer, the Holy Spirit, Senior Santo Nino, and the two hearts of Jesus and Mary, offer the Pancet family. Pamisa pa salamat ni Senior Santo Nino. Thanksgiving of Manuel and Susan Okaba on their 39th wedding anniversary. Thanksgiving Mass for all the blessings received for the gift of life for Riley. Thanksgiving Mass for the blessings received from God through Mother Mary's intercession, offered by Cavada family. Thanksgiving Mass for the sixth year's wed wedding anniversary of Jamil J. and Marjolin Balansag. Thanksgiving Mass for the gift of life of Nanette. Thanksgiving for all the blessings received by my family. Thanksgiving for my birthday today, offered by the Net Cavada and family. For the healing, recovery, and good health of Bishop Leodrona, Don and Christine Olivar, Melodina, Alberta Baraka, Zedric Munilar, Rufino and Eugenia, Father Franco Uras, Father Fariel Ariel Arias, Maribet Alikawai, Medi Mamilik, Sincha Bacalso, Lo Coluyan, Mario Alonte, Carmencita Laisen, Boyet Enriquez and Office Silverio, Shoni Chico, Melody Isok, Husifa Ausuzena, Isabella Quinton. For the intentions of Christian Irving, Hilary Joseph De Quinto, Ricardo Lebrodo III, Glenn, Christian and Angelica Lou, Justin Miguel and Nina Sofia, John, 
Joseph and Dr. Karen, Andre III and Honey May, Neil Michael and Jovi, Andrea Jane, Flame of Love Philippines, Lani, Violetta, Perla, Clinton, Remjel Luzano, Vince, Crescenciano Bukul, Carl Angelo, Paul Andrew, Papa Yoyon, Helen May, Hazel, Mark, Mary Joy, Ruina Sila, Mary Susan Mamilik, CJ, Yoyen, Pedrola, Alvarez, Fernandez, and Santa Ana and families. Sherwin Joy Atog, for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit for the bar exams of Harley, healing of Lorraine Coloyan so she can have a successful pregnancy, for the good health of the Linda Coloyan, Celia Wikuku, Boy and Joy Alcoseba, for a successful NLEX exam, for a safety delivery of Julia Reyes, prayers for the healing for those couples who are experiencing difficulty in conceiving and for those who have suffered a loss. For the eternal repose of the souls of Gabriel Cañete, Proxedis Cañete, Jesus Jola, Restituto Jola, Edwin, Milagros, Erlinda, Zosima, Apolinario, Simplicio, Re Reglin, Penki, Filomena, Porferia, Blas, Natividad, Benjamin, Carolina, Patricio, Paz, Eleanor, Tessie, Daris, Serena, Domingo, Nonilon, Kent Dave, Eva, Felisa, Zoila, Daniran, Paulino, Gertrudes, Eustachio, Jesus Coyos, Junior and Senior, Abraham Magdadaro, Enrique Chu the Fourth, Jerry, Alicia, Cirilo Arisgado, Belen Ruidas, Thelma, Maria, Baden Alvin Costin, Eduarda, Lucilo, Celsa, Luz Viminda, Evelinda, Margarito, Maximina, Pastor, Wendelin, Anastasia, Pedro, Peter, Daniel, Joe, Florencio, Remedio, Eleonor, Francisco, Danilo, Emiliana, Caner, Marciano Romero Jr., Marciano Romero Sr., Sergio, Claudia, Roberto, Sioy Torres, Mio Torres, Crescencia, Junesia, Junicio, Ipimaco Esmero, Beatriz Esmero, Maxima, Nino, Alfea Bocau, Elma Verano, Wilgen, Noel Pan Sr., Steve Estrera, Romologue Rosaga, Artemeo, Lidivina Adlawan, Ernesto Adlawan, Coleta Flores, Antolin Yu, Felix, Raul, Stephen, Melody, Andres, Lunella, Miguel, Anthony Wikuku, Miguel Wikuku, Alana Coloyan, Vicente Coloyan, Howard Coloyan, Victor Coloyan Sr., Maria Coloyan, Romeo Coloyan, Leia and Manuel Abellana, Lagrimas Veloso, Aida and Cesar Chavez, Amelia de Leon, Jesus, Leticia Coloyan, Leopoldo Lysen, Ro Romeo Wicoco, Bonifacio Wicoco, Winston Wicoco, Gregorio Wicoco Jr., Gregorio Sr., Magdalena Wicoco, John Darrell Wicoco, Anton J. Wicoco, Enrique and Eugenia Alonte, Clarito Benja Benjamin, Antolin, Teresita, Virgilio, Edita, Judy, Juanario, Gervasio, Ines, Sara, Calista, Jose, Pedro, Dolores, Dolores Tumaliwan, Raul Tumaliwan, Jeffrey Tumaliwan, Dominador, Mamerta, Leonor, Juanito, Emilio, Shona, Marilyn, Caridad, Kumar Dumasag, Dumagsa, Aiza Balbin, Clarita Escala, Johan Artelian. Mass intention for the death anniversary of Restituto Matulyama. And for the eternal repose of the souls in purgatory, especially those who died from COVID-19. Please all stand.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, welcome to our Eucharistic celebration on this fourth Sunday in Ordinary Time. Today is also the last day of our novena in honor of St. John Bosco, the father and teacher of youth. We gather together as a community, thanking the Lord and praising Him, especially for the graces and blessings that He has bestowed on each of us in our families and communities. We continue to pray for those who are sick, for our brothers and sisters in need, especially for young people who are, who are in need of our prayers and help. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest.
Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word the word of the Lord came to me saying before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you. A prophet to the nations, I appointed you. But do you gird your loins? Stand up and tell them all that I command you. Be not crushed on their account, as though I would leave you crushed before them. For it is I this day who have made you a fortified city, a pillar of iron, a wall of brass against the whole land, against Judah's kings and princes, against its priests and people. They will fight against you, but not prevail over you. For I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I will sing of your salvation. In you, Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing of your salvation. Be my rock, O oh refuge, a stronghold to give me safety, for you are my rock and my fortress, O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. salvation for you are my hope O Lord my trust O God from my youth on you I depend from birth from my mother's womb are my strength My mouth shall declare justice, day by day your salvation. 
Oh God, you have taught me from my youth Until the present I proclaim your wondrous deeds I will sing of your salvation A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual of gifts, but I shall show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. And I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge. If I have all faith so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over so that I may boost, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. It is not pompous. It is not inflated. It is not rude. It does not seek its own interests. It is not quick-tempered. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, endures all things, hopes all things. Love never fails. If there are prophecies, they will be brought to nothing. If tongues, they will cease. If knowledge, it will be brought to nothing. For we know partially and we prophesy partially, but when the perfect comes, the partial will pass away. When I was a child, I used to talk as a child, think as a child, reason as a child. When I became a man, I put aside childish things. At present, we see indistinctly as in the mirror, but then face to face. At present, I know partially, then I shall know fully. As I am fully known, so faith, hope, love remain. These three, but the greatest of this is love. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Please all stand.
be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus began speaking in the synagogue, saying, Today this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke highly of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They also asked, Isn't this the son of Joseph? He said to them, Surely you will quote me with this proverb, Physician, cure yourself and say, do here in your native place the things that we heard were done in Capernaum. And he said, Amen, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the sky was closed for three and a half years, and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of these that Elijah was sent, but only to a widow in Zarephath in the land of Sidon. Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha, the prophet, yet not one of them was cleansed, but only Laaman, the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of the town, and led him at the brow of the hill on which their town had been built to hurl him down headlong. But Jesus passed through the midst of them and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. During the early days of the pandemic, it was not so easy to go home. There were requirements needed before one can travel from one province to another or from one country to another. There were tests, documents, and permits to be secured before one can ride the boat or plane. And, from, and when they arrive at their destinations, many were required to undergo quarantine and to be checked by a health worker of the place. Some were even discouraged to travel and even go home because of these protocols. Many miss their families back home. They miss the company, the presence and love that they feel back home. Yet today these have relaxed and hopefully people can travel, especially back home, back to their families. But this was not so with Jesus, as we heard in today's gospel. When he went home to Nazareth, it was a Sabbath, and he, as any faithful Jew, was in the synagogue. Yet when he started to talk, people were amazed at his words. They could not believe that their fellow man from Nazareth could speak such words of wisdom. They knew him as a carpenter, a handyman, an ordinary person in their village. And what was their reaction? According to the gospel, they took offense at him. In other words, they rejected Jesus, their very own kababayan. Effort, failure, rejection. These are words we hear a lot from people nowadays. And these words seem to be ordinary. Yet for most of us, these words denote pain and hurt. Someone who exerts effort at something noble in order to succeed, yet along the way that person failed. And the people that surrounds him or her rejects because of the failure that that person experienced because they expected success. And some looks at the effort that despite the inability to succeed, still the effort given has value. 
And these were all experienced by Jesus in today's gospel. He was not able to perform miracles in his hometown because the people did not accept him. They rejected him. It even led the people to almost hurl him down headlong at the brow of the hill. Yet he passed through the midst of them and walked away. What gave Jesus the courage to do this? It is because of truth and love. Jesus, the Word made flesh, knows that He is proclaiming the truth that comes from His Father to everyone. And we heard in today's second reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians that love that does not re rejoice over wrongdoing but rejoices in the truth when we are in the truth, brothers and sisters, people at times feel uncomfortable, especially nowadays. Maybe some are not ready to confront something about themselves and the events that are happening around. We can ask ourselves, how truthful are we? Do we also rejoice in the truth or do we promote fake news and lies? When we are in the truth, we become courageous like our Lord Jesus. Love. St. Paul proclaimed to us today in his letter that love is patient, love is kind, love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love gave our Lord Jesus the courage and strength to continue the mission that the Father has entrusted to him despite rejection from many people, especially in his native place. Many of us can relate to this, especially the parents here among us. Isn't it that parents continue to express their love for their children, even if they're unappreciated by them? Even if the children are disobedient, but lungon pasaway. They work, sacrifice their time and effort, give their all in order to sustain the family and provide for the needs of each one in the family. This is love that is not just a feeling or emotion, but a commitment, a real self giving. For the children here present, May you have an opportunity to express love and gratitude to your parents these days. And for parents also, may you have moments with your children, appreciating and recognizing the efforts that they share in the family. Love starts in the family when each one learns to give of himself or herself for the good of each one. When we truly love, the Word of God is proclaimed through us and in us. Tomorrow we shall celebrate the solemnity of St. John Bosco, the father and teacher of youth. In his life and mission for poor and abandoned youth, he also encountered a lot of challenges, rejections, and failures. Yet despite all these, he trusted much in divine providence and in the maternal intercession of Our Lady. Don Bosco lived in truth and love and, true and taught these virtues to the young people. And this gave him and the early Salesians the perseverance in proclaiming the gospel even if there are those who do not listen to them. Don Bosco and the Salesians continued to offer their lives for the young people, despite those who misjudge, misunderstand, and reject their efforts. Don Bosco's heart was filled with truth and love for this needy youth that led him to do many amazing things for them and the church. He was filled with God in his life. Brothers and sisters, there may be difficulties in proclaiming the good news in today's world. Yet let us live in truth 
and love. In this Holy Eucharist, we encounter and later on in Holy Communion receive the Lord of truth and love. And as we go home today, let us bring Christ to our families and communities. Let us be courageous and persevering like our Lord Jesus, who is driven by love. Thus, He was able to bear all things, believe all things, hope all things, and endure all things. Amen. Let us all stand and profess our faith in our loving and merciful God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through, Through him, him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I and look forward, forward to the resurrection, resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. At baptism, we have come to share in the prophetic mission of Jesus. Aware of the difficulty of being a faithful prophet in our society, we pray, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, us. hear us. That the whole church, under the guidance of her leaders, may fulfill her mission of proclaiming the word of God to all peoples. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That all believers may faithfully fulfill their task of being prophets of God in the places where they live. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That those who are persecuted on account of their commitment to promote justice may bravely persevere in their mission. Let us pray. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. That those who are fostering dialogue and peace between warring factions may succeed in their praiseworthy undertaking. Let us pray. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. That those who find it hard to love as Christ did may persevere in their effort remembering that love is all that matters both in this life and in the next. Let us pray. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. us. That those who are involved in the biblical, biblical apostolate may harvest abundant fruits of their efforts and never be discouraged by occasional oppositions or setbacks. Let us pray. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. us that as we celebrate National Bible Sunday today, we may take it as a challenge to read the Word of God every day, listen to His message for us, and live it out in our lives. Let us pray. 
Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find, to find forgiveness, forgiveness in life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection, protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We, we pray, pray for, for those afflicted. afflicted. May, May they, they be restored, restored to health. Protect, protect those who care for them. For them. Grant, Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give, Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help, and to help those, those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead, and lead us to conversion and holiness. And Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection. O Holy Mother of God, do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Joseph. Pray, pray for, for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray, pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calongsud. Pray for us. Lord, grant us courage and wisdom, faithfulness and perseverance as we carry out our prophetic mission in spite of mockery or persecutions, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give. Only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. Through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the help of Christians, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint John Bosco, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Spiritual communion. O oh Jesus, I turn toward the holy. O oh Jesus, I turn toward the holy tabernacle where you live hidden for love of me. I love you, O oh my God. I cannot receive you in holy communion. Come nevertheless and visit me with your grace. Come spiritually into my heart, purify it, sanctify it, render it like unto your own. Amen.
Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please all kneel. Navina to St. John Bosco, Father and Teacher of Youth. Ninth day, our families, friends, and people in need. All together, St. John Bosco, you were, you were full, full of, of compassion, compassion towards all those who suffer from, from illness, illness, poverty, poverty hunger, hunger, injustice, and alienation, especially, especially the young and the poor. Pray for all those in need and also for us that God's blessings and the protection of Mary, help of Christians, may bring healing, strength, and comfort to all. Pray for our families, and especially for the young, that they may be kept safe from all the harm and grow daily in the grace of God. Intercede for us in life and in death, that we may sing God's praises forever in heaven. 
Amen. Amen. Through your intercession, may God grant us and all our lay mission partners the grace we need. that we may empower young people to love and serve Christ in the least of their brothers and sisters and their relatives, their friends, and in those who are most in need. St. John Bosco, pray for us. Please all stand. Tomorrow, being the solemnity of St. John Bosco, we invite everyone to join us in our celebration of the Holy Eucharist at 6 o'clock in the morning. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the weakness of your devoted people stir your compassion, O Lord, we pray, and let their faithful pleading win your mercy that what they do not presume upon by their merits, they may receive by your generous pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. To God.